we are asked to solve this inequality. This inequality could, for example, represent the question, when is the concentration of a particular drug in the body greater than 3 mg per milliliter, where the concentration after x hours in the body is given by the expression 4 minus x divided by x minus 2. How can we solve this inequality? The first thing you might notice is that there is a denominator, x minus 2. So we would like to simplify this problem. Now how do we do that? If you had been asked to solve the equation 4 minus x divided by x minus 2 is equal to 3, then you would multiply both sides of the equation by x minus 2. Then x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 goes once. So this becomes 4 minus x is equal to 3 times x minus 2. And now you have simplified the problem as now there is no denominator. You would proceed as normal and solve this problem then. However, this wasn't the question we were asked. We were asked to solve 4 minus x divided by x minus 2 greater than 3. Now we can't just multiply both sides of the inequality by x minus 2. And you may ask, why not? The reason is we don't know whether x minus 2 is positive or negative. So suppose x minus 2 is a negative number. For example, if x is equal to minus 5, well then x minus 2 is equal to minus 5 minus 2, which is minus 7. So this is a negative number. If you multiply both sides of the inequality by x minus 2, essentially you're multiplying both sides of the inequality by a negative number. And you know if you multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you must reverse the inequality symbol. So the greater than sign will become a less than sign. But what about if x minus 2 is not a negative number? So suppose the value of x is actually 6. Well then x minus 2 be 6 minus 2, which is a positive number. And now if you multiply both sides of the inequality by x minus 2, you are multiplying both sides of the inequality by a positive number, and therefore you would not reverse the symbol. So the greater than sign would remain a greater than sign. So because you do not know whether x minus 2 is positive or negative, you don't know when you multiply both sides of the inequality by x minus 2, whether you should or shouldn't reverse the symbol. So we cannot proceed in the same way as we did for the equation. So what can we do? We could multiply both sides of the inequality by x minus 2 to be squared. Now you may say, how can we are allowed to do this? We're told at the beginning of the question that x is an element of the real numbers. So therefore x minus 2 is a real number. And any real number squared is positive. So if x minus 2 is a negative number, when we square it, it is a positive number. And if x minus 2 is a positive number, when we square it, it's also a positive number. So multiplying both sides of the inequality by x minus 2 to be squared we know for a fact we are multiplying both sides of the inequality by a positive number, and so the inequality symbol remains the same. So now I'm multiplying this out. Now x minus 2 will divide into one of the x minus 2's here once. And so this becomes and so we have simplified our problem as now it doesn't contain a denominator. So we will multiply this out So when you have multiplied this out, you should get 
this quadratic inequality here. So to solve this quadratic inequality, we would like that the coefficient of the x squared is positive, as this is easier to solve. So we will divide both sides of the inequality by minus 2, as this will make the coefficient of the x squared positive, and it also simplifies the problem. So this gives us Now, when you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you must reverse the inequality symbol, so the greater than sign becomes a less than sign. If you don't remember why this is the case, you should review it in an earlier video. So now we'll solve this quadratic inequality. So you should recognize the left-hand side of the inequality as a u-shaped curve since the coefficient of the x squared is positive. Now to find the x-intercepts of this curve, so that is where the curve cuts the x-axis, we'll set this equal to 0. And now solving for x, so we'll factorize. You should be familiar with factorizing already. Adding 5 to both sides give us this, and dividing both sides by 2 gives x is equal to 5 over 2. Adding 2 to both sides here gives x equals to 2. So these are the x-intercepts, so where the curve cuts the x-axis. We'll draw a quick sketch of our curve. We know that the curve cuts the x-axis at 2 and 5 over 2, and we know that it is a u-shaped curve. So we're just drawing that now. So this is a sketch of the curve 2x squared minus 9x plus 10. Now we know that the, the expression 2x squared minus 9x plus 10 is equal to 0 when x is equal to 2, or x is equal to 5 over 2. But we were asked to solve when is 2x squared minus 9x plus 10 less than 0. Now this corresponds to the part of the curve that is below the x-axis, so this is this part of the curve here. And we must give the values of x that correspond to this section of the curve. So that is where x is greater than 2 and where x is less than 5 over 2. So our answer here is x greater than 2 and x is less than 5 over 2. So we'd write this as x between 2 and 5 over 2. 5 over 2 is the same as 2 and a half. So in relation to the question that this could have represented, then the concentration of the drug in the body is greater than 3 milligrams per milliliter between 2 and 2 and a half hours after the injection is given.